Greetings to all. Desire everyone is doing well. Today we are doing a collective message on the chakra vibrations. Um, this was motivated by the daily short that shorts that I did today. So we are going to see what is going on because in the daily shorts, I noticed that we had a lot of sacral and solar plexus. That was the majority of issues and um, the heart chakra. So we are going to look into my um, chakra deck just to see what um, chakra collectively needs to be um, expressed on or you know spoke on today. I'm also going to use my seven energies oracle deck to see what it could possibly be about and then we will add some seasons and some herbs and some spices um, to this. So, <clears throat> I call upon my highest self to connect to this intuitive chakra vibration. May the inspiration and the protection of the supreme creative source, God, ancient of our ancient ancestors, the higher realms, and of our greatest good, guide this experience as we go in, fearing no evil nor no ego but bringing the knowing and the wisdom to our hearts and our minds to know the difference through our discernment and the residence in our hearts. Ashe, I have children. One moment. I'm delegating some of my chores out to the children. So let's see what the collective chakra vibration is. I did not. All right, you know, all that jazz. This is general, it may not be for you at this moment. However, you know what to do. All that jazz, all that jazz. And also, welcome to all of my new subscribers. It is ple a pleasure to have you in the house. At the bottom of the deck, we have the root chakra, okay, with family. <clears throat> what do we have? This is the, it says universal light. This is beyond the crown chakra. This is like the, the um, silver cord in how we connect and receive information um, from the universe, from the all. How we connect and tap into our subconscious to link us into the things that are unknown or unseen for us okay so this can also be the family um why family is coming out as well um because uh it feels like a reaching higher dimensions or certain portals that may be opening and this also has the colors of the sacral and the solar plexus This is um, really feeling like the flow and how our chakras from below because we also with the root chakra which is the base because we have seven chakras um, you know within our system and when we come to the crown chakra that crown chakra is what that that light that beam of light this is what this is the universal light the beam of light that could um, sends out the information and to receive the information in and somehow within the root chakra there is a foundational um, you know issue that needs to change that um, could be in the sacral and the solar plexus but it's um, keeping you from being able to be rooted and grounded um, to be sure within yourself of what in what your heart may feel y'all know I come with my false flaws hiccups and all okay so now this is my seven oracle yeah so this is um that's that's what's going on collective a lot of us um are having some type of issue where our sacral or our solar plexus is blocked or maybe out of alignment um, when there's blocks, it's because there's a lot of trauma that we're still dealing with inside of ourselves <clears throat> or we're coming to another area where we see there's some residue 
and also for those in regards to alignment yours could be too closed where it needs to open up some okay or the normal size or it's just entirely too large and too open and too giving that it's causing a disturbance within the flow of your energy and the vibration thereof as well let's go further collective what does the collective need to see supreme creative source what does the collective need to see what is most important what is most important for the collective at this moment okay well did she just like throw that across the room fam mm, I told you false flaws hiccups and all false flaws hiccup and all Let's do this again, fam. What's most important for the collective? There's a lot of things that is important right now for the collective. A lot of things that need to continue to work on to change. You know, that is for our spiritual development, our spiritual growth. That also brings um, a higher, higher sense into our, we have to, into our awareness. We have the body and the soul. The body and the soul. The body and the soul wants to come together in harmony. But there's something within us that really needs to change that is affecting our sacral and our solar plexus. How we feel and how we're confident. Um, there's some, um, some uh, said make this great and full. Okay, so we have let it go and great and full. That is our underline. This is how Source is saying for me to put those down. So that's what it is. Let it go. Yes, let it, let go of the traumas. Um, let go of the resistance um, from allowing yourself to get your chakras in alignment or get your vibrations all together in alignment. Um, because there's some lack of confidence here. Um, a, a lot of feeling of displacement, whether this is your, your earthly displacement, your body's feeling out of sorts because your soul is taking another change, or this could be your work environment, um, of, you know, that's making you feel unfulfilled, but there's something that really needs to let go so that your heart can be more playful and more joyous. All right, let's add some seasons, collective, more on this body and soul, the chakra vibration for the collective. We have the five of wands. Yes, this is the conflict. The conflict is in um, the movement of our energy, of our sacred water. There's something within the roots that is really um, causing that. There's somewhere in our foundation that we um, are really fighting with. This can also be um, a bone issue as well. Someone may be having a bone issue um, or maybe having some time type of um, immune um, dysfunction or something of that sort, or maybe even diabetes. And then I'm um, see. Then we have the two of wands as well with the high priestess. So yes, this um, universal light is representing the high priestess um, because, as you can see, the light that is coming from her chakra. I mean, from her crown chakra. And it's really important that we allow ourselves to get into to the position that is needed 
um, to make the choice to move forward um, so that we can truly connect to what is meant for us, um, that to allow the embodiment of our soul and our body to become as one, to become one holistic being, that we can be great and full of whatever emotions, whatever ambitions, you know, that we have for ourselves or whatever our drive is for ourselves that we can achieve achieve it so it is very important to release and let go of the sandbags that is really holding the heart captive and keeping the energy from within you from flowing source says move on let's pull out a chakra let's see what the chakra message not chakra crystal not chakra, crystal message. This may be something that may be useful um, for you. This may be something that you're already working with or maybe something that you may need to invest in. Whatever resonates in your heart. Fluorite. I have on my rainbow fluorite. Doesn't look like it, but I have my rainbow fluorite. This is just fluorite, but, you know, I have my my um, rainbow because it's very good for all of the chakras. Helping to balance the chakras, you know, align the chakras, you know. Yeah, so we have fluorite here. It says, personal protection, getting organized, aura cloak, and cooperation. I don't know how the lighting, but fluorite. And it's on like a teal aqua that is in the color of this high priestess. What else do we have? Okay. More protection. So the fluorite for your own personal um, protection. And then we have black obsidian. And we have black obsidian. Okay. Keeping your aura protected. Keeping your physical body protected. Um, it's for strength. It supports during changes. Everyday stress relief clears negative energy. So yes, I would definitely recommend that for the collective. And we have turquoise, which is one of my favorites. Um, leadership qualities, clear communication, prosperity, and success. Okay, so these may be useful for you to implement to assist you along your journey no matter how far you are on these cycles okay or on these spirals of life the cycles of life as we journey on the many journeys that we have right now and still ahead the ones that we have already come from and still ahead is what i meant to say yeah so definitely be more confident step into your leader you know your leadership um of yourself to bring that oneness into your body and your soul and to really make it your point to fight through with this five of wands to fight through um, the old paradigms the old ways of thinking to continue to assess yourself um, to cleanse yourself to rise up your vibrations I'm also hearing some thyme and rosemary as well may be useful as well and I'm hearing lemon we have the heart chakra. And it says, connection. Father divine and mother earth make love in your heart. Green ocean jasper. Then we have the throat chakra. Listening. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. And this is, what is that crystal? Unfortunately... Lamaria, Lamara, throat chakra. Listen. Yes, listen to your body. Listen to your intuition. Follow your spiritual promptings as well. Um, because you're following your spiritual promptings or your inclinations or even your intuition, some may call it, will really assist you to get that clear communication that you desire and keep you from feeling like 
you're not good enough or for um, some of us are also too overly um, assertive and excited to the point where that excitement needs to be checked to make sure it's that energy is being put into the right things and not to the things that are of the world but of the things that are of your soul and this is Mama Soul Lily if you made it this far hit that like button and comment Ashay.